you know, fellow Legonians, fellow Brick fans, fellow adult Lego enthusiasts, fellow A Falls, T Falls, K Falls, and Y Falls, and fellow YouTubers of the viewing audience. This is Dave Frost One, reporting in once again with my next Lego. Uh, Polybag Combo Review. And this time, it is of the... of uh, what's been exclusive to the Lego store, to my Lego store of sorts. Um, what a friend got for me from their trip to Legoland. The Lego Club exclusive Max minifigure and the big, probably the biggest poly bag ever, a VIP Lego store set poly bag. So, as you can tell with the VIP Lego store set, um, usually you would get this in a card form to earn rewards and use rewards for, for Lego set purchases. Here it's just a brick built wall and it is separatable. And there's a pick brick wall. An exclusive Lego coffee mug, another exclusive Lego coffee mug, a Lego store employee at the register with a Lego bag of purchases, and some exclusive sets, and a toned down version of the Dragon of Legoland. I don't remember his name, so forgive me. Yeah, the sets are Junior's Jurassic World, Friends Hot Dog Cart, Duplo Tow Truck, Junior's or Duplo Spider-Man Helicopter, Lego City Police Boat, Ghostbusters HQ, which is the exclusive set on display. For that is repre for the black lines are representing the window around it, and the Lego Creator Jet, or a Lego Creator Jet. And I'm tilting this because you may recognize the black space down next to the minifigure, and then this black space, probably representing empty shelves or something rather. Or something coming soon, I don't know. But anyways, that's it for the LEGO VIP poly bag. Max is just Max from the LEGO Club magazine. And these are two fishes I mock build built out of the pieces of the poly bag. Nothing real specific. I could create anything I wanted out of it. And then this is a helper robot from my local Lego store. I forget the real purpose of this. Why I got it, when I got it, all that detail. But anyways, the head does turn. The miniature robot arms that are just antennas for the bigger robot can fold up and down so can the lever and then the arms and hands are on ball joints and then there's many more mini robot arms or mini figure levers whichever you prefer used as fingers and they're on a plate that can have them fold up and down as well But yeah, it's like a hovering robot. 
There we go, the anti-gravity light blue, light bluish one by two plate pieces on the bottom. Hello, I am here to help you, <laughs> sort of thing. But anyways, thank you all so very much for watching. I think I suggest or advise you to stick around for more great LEGO and Transformer related content coming to the future of this channel. Oh, and there's more to the dragon on the back of the wall of sets. But yeah, toned down because there's not much going on for the head. It's just a horn at the top of the spikes that go along the back. And then the nose, teeth, eyes, and the mouth can move, but there's no bottom jaw. And back to my outro. Also stick around for more great upcoming LEGO polybag set reviews and I'll see you all in the next one don't forget to hang loose and so long everyone <laughs>